hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we will do cambridge primary checkpoint mathematics paper 1 and the code is 084501 and this is paper from april 2022 series uh, so uh, these are the instructions here you can go through you can have a screenshot then you can read that Before we start, I will request you guys to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. And if you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. So let's start. As you know, this is paper 1 and we cannot use calculator. So we will uh, do all the calculations on our own. Uh, so here are three calculation cards A, B and C. A, B and C. The answers to the calculations are written on the back of each card. Complete the back of each card. So this is the back side of each card. So we need to fill this up. 4 times 7 is 28. 6 times 5 is 30. 3 times 9 it is 27. Right? Now calculate 96 divided by 6. So we need to divide 96 by 6. 6 times 1 is 6. So subtract 9 minus 6 is 3. Drop down 6, 6 times 6, it is 36, right? So, 16 is the final answer. Now, number 3, use the diagram to show two fractions equivalent to 1 over 2. So, you see here we have the shaded part. This, this is shaded, this is shaded. So, that one is 2 shaded out of 1, 2, 3 and 4. And here we have 3 parts shaded out of 6. So, these two are equivalent to 1 over 2. Question 4. Find the difference between 634 and 79. So, we are going to subtract that. Uh, so, 4 is less than 9. So, we are going to take carry from here. This will become 2 and here it will become 14. 14 minus 9 is 5. So, now we will take one carry from here. So, it will become 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. And then 5 minus, we have nothing here, so it will remain 5. So, 555 is the final answer, right? Now, number 5, we have a beautiful diagram here. Uh, this is the plan of a zoo. So, you can see giraffes, elephants, seal pond, shop. Uh, here is elephant. The keeper takes an elephant back to its pen, right? Uh, the keeper takes the root shown by the arrows. So, you can see these arrows here, right? So, we need to follow this direction. Mm, complete this table to show the root from start to finish. So, we are starting from here. So, ending is here. So, we need to fill this table, right? So, here is the direction map we are given here. So, this will be north, south and this side we are going to have east and this side we are going to have west, right? So, elephant is starting from here. So, 1 and 2. 2 steps west. So, it's going towards west. So, this side is uh, west and if it goes this side east and north and south, right? So, north. How many north? It's, see, you have north here. So, you are moving this side. How many units? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, sorry, here is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, north is 5. Sorry, I think you guys are getting confused here. See, 1 and 2. So, 2 means he reached here. When he uh, starts from here, 1, 2. Let me start the other way. Uh, so, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 north. So, we have 5 north here. Then 1, 2, 3 and 4 uh, is uh, towards east, right? So we are going to write down east here. Then coming down, coming down means we are moving towards south. So one south, south is one. Uh, then one two. Going this way is east. East is again two. East two. Then coming down two towards south, right? So south is two now. So that's it. You just need to count the number of square that elephant is crossing to reach to the pen. 
Number six, write the missing number in the box. So something divided by three is sixteen. Uh, so something divided by three, we can write it down. Uh, divided by three is equal to sixteen. So we can cross multiply here. Sixteen times three, which is forty-eight. So forty-eight divided by three gives you sixteen. Now number seven, a basket of fruit has mass of nine kilogram and sixty grams. Uh, write the mass of the fruit. So we have here kilograms and we have grams, right? So kilogram we can have two digits for grams we should have three digits because one kilogram is one thousand grams, right? So kilograms we have here nine kilogram, and then we have sixty uh, grams. Sixty gram will come here, right? So we have to put one zero here, and the empty box the mass of the empty basket is. 850 grams. So we'll put it into 850 grams. Write the mass of the fruit. Give answer to your uh, with your give units with your answer. Right. So we are going to subtract this because this whole thing is included of basket and the fruit. So we are going to subtract. Zero six minus five is one. So here it will become eight, and when it comes here, it will become ten. Ten minus eight is two, and here is eight. So we have eight kilograms and two hundred and ten grams, right? Now number eight. Here is a Carroll diagram for sorting numbers. Write each number in the correct place on the diagram. So we have these numbers given here. Uh, so we need to fill this. Table. Uh, so we have here multiples of three, not multiples of three. Less than twenty. So less than twenty, we have six, uh, twelve, and seventy. Now out of these, which are multiples of three, six and twelve is multiple of three. So this will come here. Not multiple of three, seventy. Right. Then not less than twenty. So that means greater than twenty, twenty-three, and twenty-seven. So multiple of three is twenty-seven, and not multiple of three is twenty-three. Right. Now here is question number nine. Having with some diagrams, the diagram represents the mixed number one and half. So this is like divided into four parts, and four half of four is two. So this one is one, and this is half of it, right? Uh, look at these diagrams. Write each as a mixed number. So if we take like this as a whole, right? So let's say this is one, one, and one. This is half of that. Right. So, what is that? One, two, three, and half. So, three and half will be answer for this. And the next one we have here. So, this is the whole thing shaded. And here we have these three shaded. So, one and this. How many sections do we have? First of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, one, uh, ten out of ten is shaded. And here is three out of ten is shaded. So three out of ten is shaded. This is ten over ten is one. So one three over ten will be the fraction. Okay. Now here we have this one as a whole, one as a whole. Then this three out of four are shaded. So one plus one is two, and three over four. Very simple, right? Here we have some measurements in order. Write them in order from largest to smallest. So you can see this is in kilogram, gram, kilogram, and gram. We should have the same unit to compare them, right? So it's easy. We can convert them into uh, grams, right? So 1.2 times 1000. It is going to be 1200030. Zero, there is one decimal place. So this will be one thousand and two hundred grams. This already is in gram. Similarly, here zero point six times one thousand. That will give you uh, six thousand. Here uh, one two three zeros. Then one decimal place. It is six hundred, right? Then nine hundred grams. So which one is the largest? We are writing largest first. The largest one here you can see is this one, which is three thousand six hundred. And after that we have one thousand two hundred. Then we have nine hundred and this one here. So we will write down um, in the original form three thousand six hundred grams, one point two kilograms, then nine hundred grams and zero point six kilograms. Okay. Now number eleven use less or greater sign. 
so to complete these so this sign this should open up towards the bigger number so 12345 so this one is greater right and the other one is 6645 123 here is 223 so this one is greater so this arrow uh, face will be to this side here is a trapezium drawn on a grid of squares the trapezium is translated three squares up and two squares left draw the trapezium to its new position so the trapezium is uh, translated three squares up so i can use any of this let me take this one three squares up and two squares left so i will go first to left here so one and two so then three squares up one two three so that means this corner uh, this corner is here then two down here we will have this one this side two and we have one two three four one two three four here so this is the translated shape please use ruler for this one okay and number 13 calculate this 5 plus 5 times 5 plus 3 we are going to solve first the bracket so rest of the things will remain like this so 5 plus 3 8 now the multiplication 5 plus times 8 40 then it is 45 we have used bod mass rule here so first of all the bracket you see i have not done anything i have just written 5 plus 5 times 5 plus 3 is 8 in the next step then multiplication which is 40 right then 45 so bod mass is like this so we first to use bracket there is no division then multiplication then addition number 14 match each multiplication to the equivalent calculations 30 plus 9 so you see 37 plus 9 sorry 37 times 19 what i'm doing mm, so let's see which one uh, is matching to the correct uh, one here so like 37 times 19 so it has been splitted into uh, the sections so like here 37 times 19 so 37 19 can be written as 20 minus 1 right 21 minus uh, 20 minus 1 is 19 so now we can op open it up 37 times 20 minus 37 do you see that there uh, it's here right so we are going to match this one here similarly here 37 times so you see they are splitted into 20s 20 plus 1 21 is written as 20 plus 1 opening the brackets 37 times 20 plus 37 times 1 is 37 where do you see this one is here right so we are going to put it here the line now number 15 the statement this statement is not complete half of that is equal to double of this write the number in the box to make the statement correct double of this double of this is 76 plus 76 right uh, 6 plus 6 12 152 so 100 152 so half of what is 52 so again we will add 152 and 152 so 304 So half of three hundred and four is one hundred and fifty-two. So that's it for this video. We will do the remaining question in the next one. I hope you guys understood everything. Your exams are coming near. So all the best for that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you.